Fun fact. The military was created in response to a question directed to Sal Glusser. If your son were going into the military, what folding knife would you send with him? The military is part of the save and serve line. All right, now let's do a quick size comparison. We have the Spyderco Military here that we're going to shift upward in the frame. And below that is going to be the Spyderco Paramilitary, its little brother. Below that is going to be the Benchmade Rift. And below that is the Kershaw Clash. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Spyderco Military. This is a knife I've had in my collection, and it's been part of my EDC for uh, over three months now. And I really have enjoyed the time that I've been using it and carrying it. In this video, I want to share with you uh, some of the reasons why I decided to pick this up. This is not something that you would have seen on my channel about a year ago. Uh, and it's really due in part to this Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Uh, ever since I got this knife, uh, this was the larger version of uh, EDC knife that I would have carried about a year ago. And ever since this knife, I've really uh, started to look at larger knives and have really enjoyed their um, utility purposes, I guess. So, first off, let's start talking about the handle materials. Spyderco provides us with a very nicely textured black G10 handle scale on both sides. The thing I like about Spyderco's G10 is it's not overly aggressive. It provides a sufficient amount of grip without uh, allowing your hands to slip off or, um, you know, tearing up your pocket clip. Some of the G10 I don't like, and I will name uh, Cold Steel as one of them. Some people may love uh, how aggressive it is, but I really do not. And Spyderco has a great in-between with their texturing. All right, if we flip it over, we're going to take a look at the pocket clip. And this is one of the hits I have to give the military is the, the darn pocket clip. It's only positioned in one spot, which is right-hand side tip down, so it excludes any lefties or anyone who likes tip-up uh, carry like myself. And I really wish Spyderco would revamp the pocket clip just like they did on the Paramilitary 2 and allow it to be 4 a positionable and uh, utilize some of this dead space up here. They could have taken that pocket clip and put it up a little bit, made it uh, more uh, of a deep carry, and uh, just uh, make it look better, I guess. But overall, the, the, the function of the pocket clip itself is not hindered by the, the aesthetics of it. It holds in the pocket just right. It has enough tension to allow you to take it in and out very easily. So overall, that aspect of it isn't a problem. All right, the knife is held together with three torque screws here that are easily taken off to uh, disassemble the knife if you need to clean it. However, it does have a flow-through portion on the front and back um, and a spacer in between if you need to clean it that way. All right, we have a nice large opening hole here to help you deploy the blade. Really easy to get your thumb in there with gloved hands or with your bare hands to deploy the knife. All right, nice and smooth, very, very smooth action. This is made in Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. Love when Spyderco puts that on the blade. Blade steel is CPM S30V, outstanding all around utility and EDC steel in my opinion. One of my favorites, it really does a great job with edge retention. It can be a little bit difficult to sharpen at times if you're not an experienced sharpener, but uh, for all intents and purposes, if you're not going to beat up on the knife, you will rarely, rarely have to sharpen S30V. Nice full flat ground, 4 inch blade. This is something um, a year ago I would not have carried this, this large of a knife, but I really do enjoy it. There are a lot of applications where it excels, and I do like having a larger knife on me. Thumb ramp has a little bit of jimping here, which does help to lock the knife into your hand and really give you a secure, solid grip on the knife. So overall, well done. On the 
finger troll here, there is also a little bit of jimping, which in turn locks your hand in as well. As we take a look at the locking mechanism, it is a liner lock. Very nice lock up. Absolutely no blade play side to side or up and down. One negative though is it is a little bit of a sticky lock. And I've, like I said, used this knife for three months uh, almost on a daily basis. And uh, it really does not loosen up at all. Um, so it's still a little bit sticky after a significant amount of use. But that's, that's really the only negative with the lock. There is also some jimping on the lock bar itself to help you uh, get your finger in, there, finger in there and close it. The handle itself is very ergonomic. Something I didn't like about the Paramilitary 1 was the bulbous uh, end of the handle here that really crowded your, your hands and kind of crunched them together, or excuse me, your fingers. With a longer handle on the, para, on the military, it allows that, that bulbous portion to be pushed back some. You have the center bump here that's kind of lengthened, and it doesn't create a hot spot anymore. So you can set your hand farther back on the knife, or you can choke up. Either way is extremely comfortable. And uh, for extended use, I really have not found any problems with it. So the overall ergonomics and design of the handle are outstanding. All right. So overall, the, the military definitely is a great EDC knife, a great utility knife, and something I've enjoyed carrying for the past three months. All right, now let's take a look at some of the pros for the Spyderco Military. First off, let's talk about the quality of materials that Spyderco is using. We have a nicely textured G10. It's not too aggressive. It's perfect in my opinion. All right, and that is paired with an outstanding blade steel. CPM S30V, very high performing steel, extremely good edge retention qualities. And it's just an overall, all around, perfect utility blade steel. So I think Spyderco did a great job pairing these two materials together to make a really outstanding knife. Next, it's a very comfortable user. No matter where you position your hand, either farther back on the knife or up forward in the choil, it's a very comfortable user. It's very ergonomic. Unlike the paramilitary one that had this hump in the back of the knife, the military really allows the handle to stretch out and become a very, very comfortable user and utility blade. Next, very tight tolerances. Spider created a great job. There's absolutely no blade play side to side or up and down, so the lockup is perfect. Also, blade centering is dead on. So, Spider could really pay attention to the details and produced an outstanding knife. And finally, the weight on this guy comes in at 4.2 ounces. For such a large knife, I think Spider could did a great job keeping the weight down, and it really helped it come into my pocket a little bit more. Uh, I typically don't carry larger knives like this, but because the weight is so, you know it's it's dead on. It really allowed me to carry it. And now let's take a look at some of the cons for the Spyderco Military. First off, and I think most obvious, is the pocket clip. Spyderco really, really needs to revamp this pocket clip and go with something very similar. Uh, that's what's used on the Paramilitary 2. I think it's a very poor use of space. I don't like the design. The pocket clip itself, the part that retains the knife in your pocket, isn't a bad design. All right, it really does a good job of holding it in there securely, but not too tight, which, which makes it difficult to get it out. But I just don't like the overall design. And on top of that, they only allow you for one position. That's right-hand side tip down. The lock is a little sticky, although it does have a solid lockup, which is one of the positives. It is a little sticky, and it's, uh, it had to wear in a little bit. It still does take a little bit to, to get that lock over and to disengage it. But uh, I guess through time, that'll work in, and it won't be so much, such a negative. Uh, later on. And finally, this isn't a negative for me, but it could be for someone else. Many people may think that this knife is too large, uh, but you do want to keep in mind what this knife was designed for and what its original purpose was. But overall, for a utility knife, for even an everyday carry knife, I think it's a pretty decent size, uh, but do keep in mind it is on the larger side. Alright, so my final thoughts on the Spyderco Military, I really enjoyed the carry and use of this. I think it's an outstanding uh, EDC or hard use utility knife, especially where it was designed for as a military folder uh, by Sal Glesser. And I really think Spyderco did an outstanding job with the overall design and production. Fit and finish is perfect, 
tolerances are great, ergonomics are outstanding. It's just an all around great knife. It, it really is a great pair with the paramilitary uh, line from Spyderco. They really accent each other well. And again, Spyderco really knocks it out of the park with another home run. So if you guys are interested, um, definitely check it out. I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you next time. Check out tacticaldefender.com for the Spyderco military and many others.